share, 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 like, 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 like. Y'all see that sign? It says, welcome to Crenshaw. Let me see if I can zoom in. See that? I'm on Crenshaw and Slauson. Crenshaw and Slauson, right? There's the Popeyes. Used to be a record shop where that Wells Fargo is when I was younger. And you know, I remember the Ralph's, the staple. This is the anchor. This was the anchor. Well, this is going to be a Mexican supermarket. La, La Vida, La Vavata. I, I, I forget what they said. But the reason why I'm doing this is because this is the epic center of black excellence here in Los Angeles. You see the fat burger, Nipsey Hustle Square. Nipsey Hustle Square. A Mexican supermarket will replace Rouse in Nipsey Hustle Square. Now remember, everyone is equal. Everyone has a turn. Uh, uh, open borders. Well, guess what the numbers say? On Crenshaw and Slauson, because you got to do metrics before you spend multi-million dollars redoing the Ralph supermarket into a Mexican supermarket. You know what the numbers say? The numbers say that the Latino base in Nipsey Hustle Square, Windsor Park, Ladera Heights, Baldwin Hills can support a Mexican supermarket. And you know what that's from? open borders illegal immigration i said illegal immigration and and what does that mean in los angeles california we are a sanctuary city so what happens <laughs> exactly numbers change now you will become the bottom minority black people you will be the bottom minority because look remember how i explained the last year look you got a four lease sign right there right four lease this is right across the street from Nipsey Hustle Square. Let me drive so y'all can see this. So I can, a four lease sign right here on that business. A four lease sign right here on this business. And thank God that the Mexican market came in because now they have an anchor. So now people will be more inclined. Remember I said when you tax the rich, I know many of y'all don't understand it and that's fine because you've never run a business a day in your life. You know what I mean? Imagine, I'm, I'll give you a, a simple example. What an anchor like this does. See, this is the anchor, right? Imagine se, if if Kanye West comes to your, your, your show, your city, right? Imagine selling the shirts at the, at the venue where Kanye West is performing or 10 miles from it. Who's going to sell more t-shirts? Yes, the people next to the venue. You exact selling it at the venue. You are exactly right. Because of foot traffic, right? And that's what this anchor does. Foot traffic. So, how is it going to support? So now people know, oh, the Buffalo spot is right there. I never knew the Buffalo spot was here. That's why I used to go get my CDs when I was a kid. I had a I used to get my um um my gospel music from here, when my CD. So um, I now I know the Buffalo spot is here. I know the Wells Fargo is there, but I don't do business with Wells Fargo anymore. But you, you guys understand the realities and the significance. It's not loud. It's not like 10 million people show up to your city. Nah, nah, nah. You know what they do? They put a, they put a half a million in LA. They put a half a million in New York. They put 20,000 in Springfield. They put... 20,000 in Aurora, Chicago. I mean, in Aurora, Colorado. They put a half a million in Col in Chicago because they know black people are poor in those cities and they're not going to say anything because guess what? They, they done told y'all y'all forgiving. They done told y'all to vote Democrat. They done told you Republicans are racist. Well, this is the results. In about six months, this Mexican supermarket is going to open up in the epic center of black civilization in Los Angeles. When I grew up as a kid, Slauson and Crenshaw was as black as black can be. It was so black that all the Lakers, I'm not going to say all, many of the Lakers used to hang out here on Slauson and Crenshaw in their new cars in the 90s. 
How I know? Because I was on Crenshaw. And you saw the V12 Lexuses, the BMWs and all that, and Anthony Peeler. Cedric Sabalas used to get his hair cut over here on the, on Crenshaw, because I used to see him. Stanley Roberts used to come down here. If y'all remember the center for the Clippers, Shaq used to come down here. You know, um, there's pictures all along Crenshaw of the old Lakers. If you go into these businesses that may still be here, especially the barbershops. Every Laker and every Clipper in the 90s, nine times out of 10, if they, they went, they went to Men's Land and the Fox Hills Mall, and then they came to Crenshaw and got their hair cut. 100%. 100%. So, uh, this is where I'm at. So, you guys can see the arrow. This is where I'm at. See, I'm on Slauson and Crenshaw Boulevard. For those of you who are inquiring. And it's sad what's happening to black America. Because guess what? Black people aren't living here anymore. Less than 500 students go to Crenshaw High School. Less than 500 students. In 1994, they had 2,000. That's a 75% decrease. St. Bernard's didn't have a football team. They just brought it back this year. Population is then dropped by 50 to 70% at St. Bernard's. Their two best players left, yeah, and went to Westchester. No, one went to Bishop Montgomery, one went to St. Bernard's. They went to Westchester. So y'all see what's happening to the community. But we stay idle and then we complain and then we blame gentrification. No, it's the Democrats. It's a plan. Because black people don't get married, so you don't get a two-for-one special when it comes to voting, seven out of ten are without two parents. So there's only a 30% chance you get a two-for-one vote. I didn't say it too much, man. I, I, I'm going to leave it here because y'all don't get it. I get it because I'm always shopping for property, always trying to find a deal. Always. I'm always driving. I always got a list. Let me see where it's at. I always got a list of addresses. I go by. I, I go on Zillow. I go on Redfin. You know, I go on Trulia. You know what I mean? And I drive by buildings that I... I that Team Hawthorne could could potentially buy, you know? I dry, I'm not, I'm waiting to after the election because I know if Trump wins, excuse me, when Trump wins, he's going to drop the, the, the federal interest rates and it's going to be buyer friendly. So, which will in turn buyer friendly, you know what that does? Creates more rental spaces for you to rent. Do you get it? You're not going to buy an apartment building and and uh, or buy some land to erect an apartment building. No, you're not. Not unless you want to live in the projects. Not unless you want to live in a government, a government funded facility. You want to live in the projects? Oh, okay. You can do that too. You can move to Nickerson Gardens if you like. <laughs> you don't want to live there, right? I know, I know, I know. What Jay-Z said, a project is a project, right? So look, they're, they're working on it, as you guys can see. So in, in, in about 10 years, it, well, numbers wise, there are, there are more Latinos, but just in the epic center of black people, there will be more Latinos living in this community than black people on Crenshaw and Sloth. I can guarantee it. Look, the only two young kids we see here are Latino. Look, no black kids, not no young black men and women shopping. Look, it's dead. Look, no one, no foot traffic. It's dead. Look, no foot traffic. No foot traffic. Z now, granted, it is 1030. Businesses are just opening. I get it. But, you know, y'all go ahead and have a great day, man. I, I, I just gave an impromptu, informal. So you guys can understand how our government have destroyed Los Angeles and this will be the epic center. Remember Central? Y'all remember everyone Google Central Central Avenue 1945, 1955, 1965. Sam Cooke had a studio over there. Central was all black. Now it's all Latino. That's what's going to happen here because we are a sanctuary city, but it's not loud. It's not loud. 
you don't notice it <laughs> until you blame gentrification. Y'all blaming gentrification. No, but it's these federal laws. Anyways, I'm gone, man. Peace.